No, I'm in Illinois. Uh, do you still want me to go, Dan? Yeah, go ahead. we got to get you in here. Yes, you do. Well, very good morning to you and to everyone here on the Vintage Sideband Net. This is W9RAN. Name is Bob, and I am in uh, Freeport, northwest Illinois. Uh, I uh, kind of have this reputation, I guess, for bringing weird stuff on this net, and uh, if the truth is told, I really enjoy it. So, <laughs> uh, both the reputation and the weird junk. Um, but this is one of the stranger ones, and uh, uh, it's fun to put it on. Uh, back in the uh, early, uh, I don't know, 70s, 60s, uh, and 70s, uh, you know, HF single sideband was about the only way of uh, communicating once you got off of uh, maybe, you know, line of sight from uh, civilization. So uh, a lot of, uh, play, of uh, groups like uh, uh, oil and gas exploration and uh, forestry and uh, others who got off in the wilderness uh, had portable uh, low-power sideband transceivers. And this is one of them. This one is made by the Japan Radio Company, or JRC, and it's called a JSB-20 SSB radio telephone. Um, yeah, I'm operating it uh, self-contained with its built-in batteries. It has about 11, I believe, um, uh, nickel metal hydride uh, cells in the base. Uh, it's a lunchbox type portable. It weighs uh, maybe six or seven pounds and actually uh, works pretty well. Uh, however, it was crystal controlled, so in order to make it ham friendly, I have uh, adapted it to use some modern technology, which we won't discuss. But rest assured, it has no LEDs, so I believe it qualifies. This was probably from the 70s, uh, would be my guess. I'd have to look at the documentation. But 10 watts of portable power on single sideband, and uh, you threw up your antenna in a tree or maybe uh, hooked on a whip and. Uh, called your base station and uh, maybe got, uh, you know, some orders or uh, got a chance to send messages back home when you were way out in the boonies. So this is the JSB John Sugar Baker 20 uh, from uh, Japan Radio. Uh, maybe Masa is some, uh, somewhat familiar with it, uh, but um, I got a different JSB, a different JRC radio recently and decided it was time to get this one on the net. Uh, W9JFM and the mid uh, the vintage sideband net W9RAN. Thanks, Dan. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, the JSB20 Japan Radio. Oh, creepy is that boy? Your signal starts good. You must be uh, for, for running that into an amp, huh? Or are you not? No, no amplifier. Uh, straight out to the antenna. It was doing a little better than 10 watts. I would say maybe 15, and it's also running on batteries, so the no amplifier over. Boy, and off the grid. <laughs> well, you get the silver star for the day there, Bob. Uh, you, you definitely got uh, way different than probably anybody else working on batteries uh, on vintage uh, with the GSP 20 p 20 uh, Japan Radio on portable plow. This is the JSB-20. we got to hear that again. Okay, Dan. Well, actually, I, I might have a recording of this because I wanted to do the same thing. Um, but I'll, I'll post a link to some pictures of it uh, so that uh, folks can take a look. Uh, it is pretty rare, and uh, I've uh, had a lot of fun playing with it. Very well built, like most of the JRC equipment. Back to you, Dan. Uh, 